mind if you live in there buddy. I suspect you're eating the foods too aren't you? Greg has been busy getting all the gas line uh, wrapped up, just getting everything ready so that we can do the pressure test. Um, so right here in this utility room, we are going to have our gas dryer and we're going to have a um, on-demand water heater with propane as well. We've opted to go with two water heaters just because running a heater on one side of the house and getting hot water over here to do laundry on occasion, we're not gonna do it very often, but um, it, there's a lot of water in the line that would get wasted trying to run the hot water across. So we wanted to have the water heater really close to the washer so that it just gets the hot water in right away. And then we also plan on having a deck outside of this room and we're gonna have a hot water tap so that if we want to give our dogs a bath, um, <laughs> yeah, if we, if we need to give our dogs a bath, we can do it outside and they have nice warm water and it's comfortable for them and they can get nice and clean without destroying the bathroom. So that's one thing I'm really looking forward to because we have not had that, we haven't had a good spot to bathe the dogs in a while. So yeah, so that's what's happening here in the utility room and then we are going to have the other hot water why do why do we always say that hot water heater it's just a water heater we're gonna have the water heater in the bathroom for the shower and 
the sink and the kitchen, which is on the other side of that wall. So it's not very far for that hot water to travel. Oh, and then also upstairs to the sink up there as well. So that one is there. It's all capped off, ready for the pressure test. And then in the kitchen, we have the range. Is this one ready to go? Looks like it. Is that valve open? I don't know, it's pointing up. Yeah, that means open. Our fridge did arrive. This is the LG 24 inch counter depth column fridge. I know lots of people were interested in which one it is. I'll put the model number in the description as well. But 238 kilowatt hours. Estimated yearly cost $29 if you're on grid. Um, for us, it'll be zero, zero sort of, <laughs> except for all the stuff we pay for to have power here. <laughs> and yeah, we haven't actually run the fridge yet. We had our countertops measured about a month ago, so I'm hoping any day now that they will arrive. They did take our kitchen sink as well to install with the counter um, in their shop. And yeah, it's all coming together. And then on the other side of the counter, uh, just boop, right there, that little tiny gray thing, is another gas line. And we're gonna have um, a propane heater just as a backup heat source. Here. So that if we leave, we don't have to worry about our pipes freezing. It's going to be a 20,000 watt. BTU. Sorry, yes. 20,000 BTU. Uh, Martin Martin heater. direct vent heater. That's gonna, it looks like there's a little flame on it, so it'll be like a little secondary little thing. Yeah. Little fireplace. A little screen so you can see the flame. This is the last piece to put in. All right. And then we can pressure test, pressure which is test. very exciting. I've got the soapy water ready to go and yeah, coming along. All right, Greg is ready to do the pressure test. So we're gonna head under the house or get everything all set up, I guess. And then we're gonna check the pressure, but also um, do some soapy water on the joints just to double check, make sure everything is good to go. Perfect. That is way more pressure, like by an exponential amount that will ever then then the propane will ever be pushed into here. So what's it? What's it at? It's at it's at we'll call that uh, ninety three psi. Hmm. Ninety three psi. How accurate is this? Not. <laughs> <laughs> what's that say? Well, it says just shy of a hundred, but oh, not um, too far off. It's not too far off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that uh, soapy solution, may as well just start right here, and hose it. Especially this, because if, if that's leaking, I need to know. Is it soapy enough? Oh, okay. oh yeah, it doesn't take much.
good little bit of soapy water on there. Well, I'm gonna leave that for a couple hours, but that thing ain't leaking. It's good, it's tight. I used pipe dope and Teflon tape, which on the label of the pipe dope, pipe dope said use both, so. And it was yellow tape. And it was not, yellow tape, not white tape or pink isn't tape. It not obviously yellow on the camera. Yeah, for sure. So. Gas tape. Yeah. So really happy with how that turned out. And Katie might be able to make coffee. In the house? In the house this weekend. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Now I know we have a lot of music lovers in our audience because I see the comments where you guys say how much you love our music or how much you don't like our music, which is okay. We are also music lovers and we pretty much have music going 100% of the time when we're working outside or working inside. And today I'm super excited to share with you the Motion Boom Plus Bluetooth speaker by Soundcore. We've had a lot of Bluetooth speakers over the years and this is by far the best one that we have ever used. The sound is so crisp and incredible, way louder than every other speaker we've ever had. So the features of the sound core that make it unique are these giant subwoofers. We've got a 30 watt and a 30 watt subwoofer on the inside. Two 10 watt tweeters making that an 80 watt Bluetooth speaker, which is crazy. This gets a 20 hour playtime. It has a app where you can change the equalizer settings from your phone. Also has PartyCast 2.0. So if you have a couple of these or you have a friend who has one of these, you can link them together and play music simultaneously through different units. The Motion Boom Plus speaker is designed for outdoor living with a durable, lightweight body, and it is waterproof as well. So even if you were to drop this in the lake or something, if you're out boating, it's gonna float. So it doesn't just sink to the bottom of the lake and it's gone forever. The Soundcore Motion Boom Plus has incredibly vivid sound. And if you'd like to get your hands on one of these, we're gonna put a link down in the description and you can pick one up. Huge thank you to Soundcore for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to work. All right, next on the list of tasks is we need to go over to our water system solar panel and uh, trim back some of the trees because now that the sun is lower, we're not getting enough hours of sunlight on it. So the, where we're situated, there is a mountain on the other side of the river. So throughout the year, once we get towards winter, fall and winter, the sun just barely comes over the top of that mountain. So what we're also gonna be doing is turning the solar panel a little, a little bit so that it gets more of the morning sun, I think, right? Yeah, and to be honest, this isn't going to last very long because the freezing temperatures are coming and they're coming like next week. So we might get a couple <laughs> no. more, a um, couple more fills with the water. We uh, had quite a few days of gray and that portable power station saved our butt. The cistern was out, we hadn't showered in a few days and we were able to bring this out here, fill up our cistern. It was awesome. Come on, boo-boos. Yeah.
That helps a lot. And then... What's that? This one right here, behind you. Just those pushed down it helps a lot. Just like that? Yeah. And then this one right here? Yeah. I'll take, I'll take these down. Yeah. Oh, you didn't use the, uh... Did you turn it off? Yep. The breaker? I think so. bears. Just this little bear.
This is for you, Nabs. You. This works out really well, eh? Yeah. There we go, sweetie. Oh yeah, that's the goods. Sookie boy, here comes the crew. Mimi, Mimi. We have been keeping busy cleaning up around here, just getting ready for winter. We've got all these root balls that were over there from when we originally cleared the property. And uh, so they've been drying for many years now. So they're in the fire. I got this whole area cleaned up. We had our siding there in a pile, some of the siding, and then just like ladder jacks and stuff. So. Those are just tucked away now. So we had some siding here in a pile and I've moved it to right there. So it's all nice and uh, tidy looking. And I've been doing some firewood cutting. We had a couple random logs just in the bushes so I cut that up. The other one I can't move and it's quite a bit larger so I'm not going to attempt to cut it with my saw. Um, yes, yeah, so we have some siding here that we got uh, left over from a job that Greg worked on quite a while ago. I hate the color, so we are going to be figuring out what we want to do for that. It's like a baby blue, which I don't want. <laughs> I'd like our house to be earthy colors. Um, Greg got some dirt on the ramp into the woodshed. I think that's probably gonna be an evolution of putting more dirt up and as it washes away and kind of fills in between the rocks, we'll just have to keep adding more and then gravel, wood chips would be nice as well. We've got all the bark cleaned up from when we've been working on firewood there. We got a ton of chips into the chicken coop. Greg also got his old truck started and cleaned up. We're gonna be using that truck for plowing. Yeah, so we're gonna need to do some work on the plow before the snow falls, but 
the truck starts and the battery charge for a fair bit and surprisingly the truck just fired up I mean we had to jump it from my vehicle but it just fired up instantly which is awesome it's a good truck I got the travel trailer this is our guest accommodation I got that cleaned up on the roof got a tarp on it and that's ready for winter um, I guess we need to also get the chicken run tucked away somewhere probably our neighbor has an old sawmill over there so maybe we can tuck that under in that building somewhere because this sawmill doesn't run so yeah it's looking a lot better it's definitely hard when you don't have places to store things and you're building a house there's building materials everywhere we've got things for the property that we need to work on setting up but we just have not not had time to do it so it's just good to get these things tidied up and organized and I mean it's just piles of stuff being moved and put in a pile somewhere else but feels a little bit more intentional I guess just getting ready for winter Well, we left the gas line pressure test on for quite a while and it passed. Um, Greg didn't film taking the thing off or checking it, so I don't have anything to show you for that. Other than us saying it's good. Yeah. So we're not going to blow up our house. <laughs> so next we're going to get the uh, orifices, orifices <laughs> changed over from uh, natural gas to propane. Okay, Katie, get your little fing finger in there. You see what's going on? I just gotta give it a twist. <laughs> Get your fingers in there. These aren't working. Get the, the clothes off. Boo boo, did you just tuck yourself in? Oh, I just wanna be cozy. Break off to, break on to, to, to the other side. Break on to, that. to the other side. What's that? Butchered. Got the tank cooked up outside. We're gonna open up the stove. And do a, hopefully light the stove. A quick leaf test first. <laughs> yeah. And luckily for us, well, not that it would, we would smell it before it would be an issue for the wood stove, but the wood stove is not on. Oh, a real stove, Katie. Oh, look at that. What do, Let me do one. Do you want to do the supersonic one? That's a little boo boo in the back. Oh, that's the supersonic one. Beep. <laughs> there, we have secondary heat in the house now, Katie. No. Yes. It's no, good. we're not using the stove oh, to heat this place. Man, it'll do quick, though. That's high on the middle. Yeah. It's a, it's for simmering. Let's put them on low. That's nothing. Ooh. I was hoping they'd go lower. No, you don't get that. That back one's not very low. That's what you get. Guess who's making coffee in here tomorrow? Katie is. I'm gonna be at work. <laughs> Maybe I'll get up early and make coffee in here. Well, that is a relief. We've got no leaks. We've got flame on the range and I spoke to the countertop people and she said 10 days. So I guess that'll be a few videos from now, <laughs> but we're getting closer. So 
pretty happy about that. There's no kitties on the counter. You know the rules. 